Look at him kicking. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he still blows snot. Welcome back, everyone, for more of Sons of the Forest. Now, it's springtime again, and while I have continued working on my base, I decided to come to this cave. Now, this is actually not far from where I started. It's just down to the side of the river I followed when I first started the game. You see where it is right here. It's really not that far away from where my base is and from all that. And I've already gone to the other ones. It's time to check out the other cave that was left on this, which is right here. And what you see, we've got these three guys kind of strung up here. You got this guy who is holding a stick and uh, apparently they decided to leave a slingshot in his pocket. There we are. I got a slingshot. I, can, I shoot rocks and stuff. Now, I'm hoping this isn't too bad in terms of enemies because I had so many attacks during the winter while I was building that, uh, yeah, I, I just lost a, a lot of armor. And I haven't had a chance to restock it. And oh, there we go. The nice thing is you can jump back up, it seems, to go back out that way. But what's the fun of that? We need to go explore. Got a body over here. Uh, some duct tape, booze. Oh, yeah, he drank himself to death. Not seeing anything else. I just got the light there. And we got water. Which means, uh, I guess, rebreather, right? Right, go in. At least the rebreather has a, a little bit of a light. And I, I still don't think there's any aquatic enemies. That would be a new thing, but then we'd have to have some way to defend ourselves. And I don't think we could use our weapons underwater. So, that should be a peaceful little swim through underwater cave area. Here we go. We got an opening. Oh, right off the bat. One of the little blind ones. All right. Uh, another blind one. Yep. Come here. They're, they don't seem like they're that blind. I mean, they still managed to find me pretty readily. And here's another one. At least I'm getting the easy ones right now so I can get some uh, armor again ah just it's like one after another they just one comes through i kill it get the armor and then the next one comes running through which is fine I mean, if they just do one at a time i can handle it it's perfectly okay so yeah, here we go another one it's like oh hey i heard something i'm gonna go check it out not getting any of the one hit head decapitations this time though that's unfortunate it's a lot of ambient sounds going in here. Oh, well, that does not look like I'm coming back from that. Let me get some armor on. Because this feels like... Yep, here we go. Slip and slide. I don't even get to see. I got my arm in the way. I guess I protected myself, kind of. Break my arm instead of my face. Let's see. Dead body floating in the water. All right. Batteries. Always good. Oh, no, that was slug ammo. Okay. Uh, batteries and slug ammo apparently have some very similar appearances. Yeah, just a lot of, like, scraping sounds just happening. Like, not seeing anything. What was that? What the? Did, were those there before, or did they come sliding down behind me? I'm, I'm hoping nothing is, like, messing with me, just pushing stuff down the the slide there come on take your leg off i think i uh, think i took the leg off uh, it hurts it sounded almost like music for a second all right don't attack me don't attack me i'm skinning your buddy oh ah. hey you stuck behind me Oh, hey, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Because again, there's too many of them. Oh, hey. What the? Come on now. I... Oh, there we go. Finally. Decapitation hit. Okay, maybe. 
I got all the the ones I need to skin. So let's see. We got, of course, the light. We got some medicine. Uh, cloth. What's that? Oh, just oh, the medicine. Okay, I was just. There's so many sounds of, like rocks clattering, scraping, like something's being dragged. And uh, oh, we got uh, hey the twin. I think is what people are calling it because you know there's two of them. Definitely makes a different noise compared to some of the other ones. There's some other one over there. Not using enough flares, so. All right, stuck on the terrain. I'm good with that. Did I? That'd be neat if you could like head shot, like decapitate one side, and the other side just like has to drag that piece around. Like it, it you kill one half. And the other half is stuck there, like dragging the the other half of the body around, like it, like how like you, you know, you hit them and crippled the leg. Then you know it'd be the same kind of thing. You hit one of the normal cannibals where you cripple a leg, they're limping along. With this, you, you decapitate one half of them, and that other half has to drag the body. That could be a cool little thing to add. Oh, come on. I'm hitting the button to change weapons, and it's not doing that. I'm noticing that more and more. That I'm, like, hitting the button to get out my uh, axe or whatever, and I have to hit it three or four times to get the axe to actually equip. Oh. I need my flashlight to get weak. I was going to try to skin this and do something. I didn't realize it would automatically replace the batteries. I thought I had to do that part. Yeah, these stalagmites are not helping me because I'm getting stuck on them. Ah. The fingerlings, like, those, their hits do so much more damage. One hit, and I'm down, like, three pieces of creepy armor. And then the the gray blind ones hit me, and it's, like, two or three hits, and I might lose a single piece of armor. Wait a second, what? I, I just killed one, and another one took its place. Did it just respawn itself? Seriously? I, I, he did not even get a hit on me. I hit him, killed him, and, uh, yeah, he still managed to take a piece of armor from me. And I got a flashlight attachment. Okay, let, let's see what that does. Got flash, well, you know, let's see, uh, pistol. Is it real? Flashlight attachment, like that? No? 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 It's the flashlight attachment, okay. Like that? Yeah, yeah. Is that? Okay. Put that on. And then Ezra step. Like, you can't just combine it. Okay. So now I have a separate flashlight <laughs> on my gun. Uh, some flares, since I finally used some. Ammo. I think, yeah. A bunch of... Yo, know, this is not cave workers. Like, those that are just doing some kind of job. These are, you know... Commando guys, maybe part of my group that uh, were, you know, coming in. Maybe a, another group. I don't know. Where'd that baby go? Well, let's just all admit that the babies are annoying. Like, they're creepy at first. Then it just becomes annoying. This is a very narrow path, so I'm hoping I'm not going to get attacked. To real money. Yeah, I'll, look, bag of money. That's what everybody brings in their survival pack. Money. Oh, why am I hearing bats underwater? Why, why would the bats be underwater? Tell me. Oh, what the? Okay, yeah, that's uh, not as pleasant. Come on, let's see if you'll get in the water with me. Yes, yes. That's how you do it. Tease them into the water. Oh, it was giving me a choice for a second. Oh, wait, we got it. Yep, second one. Awesome. There, oh. 
if I could get it to target. I see the icon and then it like goes away. Oh, come on. I can, I see it hit there. The E shows up and then it's like, it goes away. Okay. Come on. Come on. God, they are so problematic with targeting still. All right. Come on, big boy. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Look at him kicking. Oh, he's dead. Oh, is he still blows snot. All right, come on. Sometimes you just got to, like, get in a quick swing at him. And there it goes. And he still took armor away from me. All right, I give up. I'm not getting armor off of those. It shows the E briefly and then nothing. So I got out of all those mutants, one piece of armor. See some significant light up ahead. Oh, yep, yeah, and babies. Again with the babies. Oh, yep, yeah, we got another twin. All right, that's it. There we go. Okay. So, not just a cave, but some sort of underground, like, facility, which I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Uh, that does not look like a safe passage. I mean, zip line. Yes, a zip line. I could be like, yeah, let me go. But I feel like if I go down that way, it's the point of no return. All right. Got a shovel. And I'm not worried about equipping it yet because I, I don't really have a place to dig here. I just got to get back out. I'm not even going to try going down on that. I feel like I'm going to get stuck. And I hope I don't have too many mutants respawn. And especially the fingerlings and the ape ones. Just let me go through perfectly safe and sound all the way back. Ah, oh, again, so much sound. Of just like rocks clattering, like something's moving or something's about to cave in. I don't know. It's, it's unsettling just from an auditory standpoint. And you, you can't tell. I mean, I can see dust and stuff falling from the ceiling, but you can't tell if it's actually like just the, the ambient sounds or if you've got something coming after you. I guess that's part of the whole scare tactic. Oh, part of the scare tactic thing. And, uh, Hey, you. I think I got... I know what to do here. Uh, you know what? I got a bunch of grenades in here. There's some right right there, actually. I think this is where I found them. Yeah, those containers. In fact, there's another one I grabbed. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, I guess we're going this way. Oh, when something triggers like that, you know, a special event, that means go that direction. And, of course, a bunch of babies. Again, more babies. Hey, where's the mutated toddlers? How about that? Why, why are we just doing babies? Why are there not, like, little toddlers, you know, that maybe have, like, little legs and they can kind of walk after you, you know? Where are those? Where are the preteens? Oh, man, let's get more age demographics in here. Oh, that's always nice. You know, just a lovely drop down, point of no return. Ooh, is it? Is it? Is it? Yay. All right. Out of the cave. Not so bad. In fact, just babies on the way to the other spot. I kind of, I, I can handle that. What the? Oh. So it is like real. Oh, it's seven o'clock. That's it. It's only seven o'clock. And it's this pitch black. Ugh. I had to do it. I had to sleep. Could not just go stumbling around in the dark like that. The flashlight it was just something with that night. I mean, I, I had no visibility. So I know there's plenty of places where you can use the shovel to dig, but I'm going to the one I can think of first, which is, of course, the other marker location. And 
I just happened to come across here where there's this camp and we got a fingerling strung up along with a couple of heavy armor and big guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, they're mutant over there. One of the blind gray ones. Well, they got themselves a nice little mutant catching setup over here. Yep, yeah, all right. They've been raiding coffins. Or oh, how uh, rude and kind of immoral of them. He's still alive. All right, hang on. Let me kill him. There. Being humane to them. All right. Blind mutant. Two headshots. And give me the armor. Give, give, give me. There. I'm, just, I'm going through ammo anyway on this, so. Ten bullets. Ten to take that thing down. Uh, I'm assuming I still have to like target a dig point, right? Or do I just like equip it? It's not giving me the choice to dig as far as like, it's not showing an icon for there being a dig spot. So I guess I'm just going to try to dig up somebody's grave. Oh, that, okay. There we go. Broke it and or, come on. Give me give me the thing. There we go. Targeting problems again. Shotgun! So I got the shovel and then I used it and got the shotgun too. So I've got some better weaponry. Also, check out what's left of my base, my former base. And here's the problem I'm running into. For some reason, these do not want to disconnect. Uh, let me take them apart. I thought it might be to do with the stick holders and bone holders that were there, but no. Instead, what happens is some point at night, you're going to, you can see it. They light up like there's a skull lamp underneath, but I have pulled logs out or planks out. Haven't been able to find any kind of skull lamps or anything. So this is a little bug still, but at the moment, I'm not so worried about it because I have been busy working some more on this. So yeah, I've kept the zip line that is just floating because uh, Kelvin's chopped down the tree and it works well enough to get some logs still over here. I haven't taken out any supports yet because I'm still trying to decide how I want to do this. I got stuff brought over that that's all finished, you know, except for uh, last little bit. And basically I did cheat a little bit, but not cheat. It's just, it's a flaw in the game mechanics right now. When spring hit, and the uh, lake stayed frozen because I didn't leave the area. I didn't save and reload. I worked through the first two days of spring <laughs> without exiting the game. So the lake never thawed out, even though it was springtime, because I never left the area. So I did. It, you could, It's cheating a little bit. Let's just call it like that. But you know what? It helped me get everything done.